Hello everyone, and welcome back to Amateur Hour Projects. Today we're going to take a look at the Rokor Wooden Perpetual Calendar Model. So I thought this looked pretty neat. It uh, is definitely going to be fun putting this together and then it's practical, something that you can have on your desk tell you the date I mean you have to change it yourself but you can uh, definitely keep it together for a while it is apparently a level 3 difficulty out of 5 for their scale so let's go ahead and open it up and we'll put this thing together Got a little bit of sandpaper here just to add, smooth out some of the edges. Not very many pieces, which could be a good or bad thing. All right, I took a look at the instructions for a moment there. It does look a little bit complicated, but I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to figure it out. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. All right, so this was another fun build. The wood here is pretty thick, fairly sturdy, good quality, I'd say. It was a little difficult getting everything together at some points. It was very hard to push some of these pins in on occasion. Uh, you see there that I had to use a hammer that was actually suggested in the instructions. you'll see a little later that I'll be using some wax for the instructions on some of the gears. All in all, while putting this together, I didn't feel like it was in any particular danger of breaking like some of the other builds I've done, but I tried to be as careful as I could while doing so just to try to avoid as much breaking as possible because uh, as we know I'm very good at breaking things especially these wooden puzzles Even though it seemed sturdy, I tried to be as careful as possible here because I didn't want to snap any of these pieces. Now, it looks like I may have been playing with that, but instructions do state to make sure that the pieces turn smoothly while putting them together. I just make sure that I do that. And I didn't like the way that these felt, so you'll see me take this apart and just make sure that those gears are in there securely.
And there we go, that felt better. Now you'll see me sanding some of these bits off. They were just kind of sticking out a bit. And the instructions have indicated that we should wax this entire gear up. So that's what I'm doing here with the provided wax. And of course it gets everywhere. And I just knock off some of the excess. Now these were, these little circles were very hard to get out and I broke one of them. Luckily there's extra pieces of, of some of these smaller bits just in case you do break one and I didn't need to use another one. Here we are waxing again. And sanding off just a little extra nub. Now, overall, it was pretty simple to put this together, but a lot of the connections were very tight. Like this next section that I put together, clamping everything in place. It was a little difficult to do so just because, again, Everything was very tight. Little room for error. And I wanted to try to be careful so I didn't break anything. And that's the main body. Now we move on to the stand. Now the actual connection for the stand was is odd, because it just fits onto this circular part and sits there. It doesn't clamp in and it's not very secure, so it just sits on it. And you'll see later that it's very easy to move it around and and not keep it in place. But, all in all, not too bad. Okay, so there, there it is. Looks pretty nice. It wasn't too difficult to put together. Uh, it was a uh, little, little odd in some places, but uh, overall not too bad. Now it's time to figure out how to set the date. Okay, so first we need to adjust the inner ring for the year and it's 2022 and then lock it into place this is a bit strong a bit difficult to do there we go so now that that's locked in we choose the month which is currently the night month 
and that's it. It's pretty simple. And there we have it. The perpetual calendar wooden puzzle. I think this was pretty cool. And I'll have this on my desk for a little while. If you guys like that, go ahead and like it. Uh, comment if you thought this was interesting. If you have any other suggestions of, on what we should do here, go ahead and let us know. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day.